Have you ever seen a nine foot tall glow in the dark singing and dancing dinosaur? Well, if you come out to the Lake Wells Arts Council in May, you will see just that. So here to talk about this um, unique event and uh, character, we have with us today, Holly Rubin the, from Bits and Pieces Puppet Theater. She's the artistic director and she is the puppet performer for Tyrantosaurus. We also have Barb Connor, the president of the Lake Wells Arts Council. And last but not least, we have Cheryl Garnett. She is the Polk State College director of the J.D. Alexander Center, and she's also a board member for the Lake Wells Arts Council. Well, ladies, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Here. So, um, so this event, um, it seems a little bit out of the ordinary. I mean, there's a, there's a huge dinosaur, and so t tell me a little bit about about what what's going on. Well, we're going to present our Aesop's Dinosaur Fable, which is a retelling of the classic story, The Grasshopper and the Ant. I know you remember that one about the I, grasshopper I who plays all day <laughs> and doesn't prepare for the future. Well, we thought dinosaurs never prepared for the future either. Otherwise, they'd be walking around today. So what if we had a totally loving, caring, fun, crazy rock and roll dinosaur? And he could learn the same message, which is to prepare for the future. And that's what Aesop, all the way back in ancient Greece, was trying to tell us. But it's more important today, I think. So we have this musical that's bright and happy, and everybody in the family is going to have a great time. Well, family entertainment, and what better time to do that than Mother's Day weekend? Yeah. And so we're excited to be bringing our show to and Cheryl you organized the whole thing yes um, actually I'm the chair of the uh, event alongside with another uh, member of the Arts Council Council Charles Hines he helped with the performance but we're excited to bring this to the Lake Wells and hope it hopefully it will become a flagship event on Friday, I really want to highlight the Friday pre-show event. This is an event where you don't find often where parents and children come together, get an opportunity to get excited about the same thing. And this is exactly what the pre-show will do. Uh, we are planning an exciting um, and activities, engagement for the entire family. We will have crafts, we will have artists there as well, balloon artists, we're also going, going to have caricature artists there as well as body um, audience uh, uh, artists there. And we um, will have the artists there as well that families can actually talk and find out about the show. But the main point is to get children, youth, and family all excited about the next day's show. So I'm excited about it as okay, well. Okay, so that's only gonna be on Friday night. That will be Friday, um, May 10th, from six to eight at the Lake Wells, uh, Polk State Lake Wells Art Center. Okay, and Look. so what can people expect, what can these families expect when they come to the event on on the 11th? I mean, um, Cheryl already spoke a little bit about the Friday event, but is it just gonna be a, a theater, you come in and sit down and just see the stage show, or is it gonna be interactive? The show is interactive in the fact that everybody gets excited. When you see a, a giant production and they're singing and dancing, you, you open up your ears, you open up your eyes, and you let all that good energy come in. So that's what you can expect. You can expect to come and see a show with your family, and when you leave, you'll be singing the songs. A week later, you'll still be talking about it, and maybe a year from now, and even two years from now, your kids will say, remember when we went to see that Aesop's Fable and how much fun we had? That's what you can expect. You'll come in, and you get to see a show. Now, some families have never been to a live play before, and so they get to participate. Audiences are important because they're going to clap and laugh and we're going to hear it and it's going to go back and forth all that good energy um, and then after the show we will meet for a chance to take photographs of your family with the giant puppets so that's a memory that you can take home with you and have along with what's up here you'll have a photo to look at as well so uh, so where is this one at is it at the same location as the Friday event the performance itself is located at the Lake Wells First Baptist Church okay. in Lake Wells, and the pre-show event is at the Polk State Lake Wells Art Center. So two separate venues. Okay. Okay. So, um, so what kind of cost are we looking at here? How much are tickets? Tickets are free. Free. Yes. That's great. We have a wonderful sponsor, uh, Ruth Marchione, was a member, a longtime member of the Lake Wells Arts Council, and she's passed away, but she left a foundation, and she generously sponsors our events, but they have to be for children. She sponsors a youth music festival, a competition for um, classical music, and then she sponsors this 
program and we're excited that it's theater and art kind of mixed because puppets are our visual art and then you have the theater along with it and so it's going to be a great thing she'd be very excited because she was a teacher well that's that's great well um, Barb how did the Lake Wells Arts Council get involved with this show and the bits and pieces puppet theater well, Cheryl went to um, Miami to see all these exciting shows through the Polk State because they're going to be doing some programming at the um, center. And she came back so excited about everything she saw. And I said, you know what, Cheryl, I have this money that we need to have for our children. Would you like to chair this committee and go find me a program that everybody will love? And she just took it and ran with it. She's been just a great chairman. That's great. I must say, I, I have a personal interest in bringing art programming to the Lake Wells or Polk County area because I have five children myself. So I'm <laughs> so excited that my children and other children in the community and families and adults get an opportunity to actually come out to a live performance and experience quality art programming. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm excited about this opportunity. This is a show that um, we've been blessed enough to travel around the world. Mm -hmm. So the community is going to see a show that's performed in, in New York, in Michigan, in Texas, in Tokyo, Japan twice, wow. in Taiwan, in Singapore. It performed for an entire month at the Children's Museum in Munich, Germany. And it's been in multiple festivals in Prague, the Czech Republic. And everybody around the world loves it. It doesn't matter if they even speak the language. It's visually <laughs> exciting. And that's part of the magic of puppetry. So how great to have it in your own community, let alone not having a high ticket price, being able to come and see it for free. Yeah. That's an amazing gift that you're giving to the community. So we hope you come out and that we can share our gift of dancing and singing to the audience. So now, Holly, did you, um, did you make the dinosaur? Are That's right. The... That's my dinosaur. <laughs> I joined Bits and Pieces many years ago, and I am the puppet builder for the company. So when people see the puppets dancing on stage, it's in my heart. And that's why when I dance with the puppets as we try Antosaurus, <laughs> the hardest worker in the forest, when I dance with them, the puppets seem alive because, well, to me they are. I enjoyed building them, creating them, and they all have magic in them that the audience can feel. Now Jerry Bickle, who's performing as the dinosaur, he wrote the script and we work with a wonderful composer uh, named Peg Callahan who's out of Atlanta. So what the families actually see is two people performing a show, they wrote it, they built it, and they're presenting it for the audience. And we hope that creative-minded people and children growing up will see that they can take their thoughts, write a script, a song, a poem, build some puppets, and share their ideas with other people because it's all about communication. Puppetry goes back to caveman times where uh, we used puppets to tell the story of the hunt. Well, we're still using it to tell stories. Yeah. So we hope everybody's going to want to rush home and build some puppets afterwards, too. Yeah, well, that's that's great, especially and nowadays when um, arts programs are being cut from schools. Kids can, you know, experience art yeah. in a different, you know, in their community with, with people around them. So that's really great. Um, I talk to me a little bit about um, sponsors and, and and stuff like that. How are you putting this event on? I mean, it's free, so need help. Um, well, um, we are partnering up with Polk State. Polk State is um, has helped us with in-kind donations, but as far as marketing, that has been a really big help because we're, we're a very small organization. We're mostly volunteers. We just have one employee, so um, we have a hard time marketing our, our programs and this one is worth marketing for a bigger audience and so we're marketing it to all of Polk County and that's where Polk State has come in um, and it's been great and then um, as we said Ruth Marchione Foundation we do it every year we use her money for children and um, I'm excited about it um, because I feel like children more and more are living virtual lives you know, they're always on their phones, they're always watching TV on the computer, and this gives them an ability to see how real people make things. And it also, you don't get a scale when you just look at everything so small and flat, and it's time to expose them to more real theater. Real theater, I think, is life-changing for people um, because you do get caught up in the excitement. The kids do exactly what you say as far as on the screen. And the show uh, gives them live theater, but it also moves at a speed that's still very inspiring for them and it keeps them interested. Uh, and that's important in 
children's theater and family theater today is to keep it exciting enough that the kids who are playing the video games still find it stimulating. Right. And that's what they'll find with the show. But mom and dad are going to have a great time too. Okay. Well, and hopefully this can almost act as a launching pad into other live performances mm -hmm. and other theater. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't want to start them off at you know, Henry V, but you know, <laughs> That's right. you, you maybe right get up that. there. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, this sounds like um, sounds like a really exciting event, and I'm so glad that you that you were able to bring this to Lake Wales, but also just the whole Polk County community. Yeah. It's and let's hope that everybody who hears about this, whether it be in the news, on the TV show, whatever, that they go ahead and do what we talk about in the show, even ahead of time, which is prepare for the future. Make your plans to come down and share in the Friday event and to come see our show on Saturday. Because you have to, families are busy, yeah. and they need to schedule their time to have something they'll remember for years to That's come. That's true. Well, do you have any other, um, any other shows like this planned for the future? Any other? Collaboration? Uh, no, we're for next year. We are just okay. starting to work on it, but um, we're not exactly sure. Um, we'll still have to iron out the you. details. We'll have to <laughs> surprise you. Yeah. Most definitely, we will continue to um, keep in mind children, youth, and families when we plan our programming, and I hope to see this continue in the future. And I just would like to say before we end um, our conversation is that. Now is the time to get your tickets. Uh, you can either go on to the website, to the Lake Wells uh, Arts Council website, um, and get the information. Uh, you can also stop by the libraries in Frostproof. They have free tickets. They have information about the performance. Library in Lake Wells, the chamber in Lake Wells, and also the library in Dundee. Any other communities can call the number 863-676-8426 to request tickets. So now is the time to get your tickets and come out and experience a live show. Are you expecting it to sell out? I mean, I'm sure you're hoping that. I it. am expecting. I'm optimistic. I am hoping that this will be a flagship event. I'm expecting to fill the house. That's great. So Cheryl, what if um, somebody doesn't get a chance to get over to one of the libraries, or they live in Lakeland or Polk City, and they can't get to the Frostproof Library to get tickets? Are they going to be turned away at the doors? There's still going to be seats? No, they will not be turned away. Yes, well, there's going to be plenty of room for everybody. It's a, it is a rather large auditorium, um, but and you can also get your reservation online. It won't be a ticket, but it'll be a, a page that has a reservation. It just helps us, you know, monitor how many people are coming. It just helps us plan. But um, we, if you, we want you to come, whether you have a ticket or not, come. And in a big theater, a thousand seats, every seat for a giant puppet show is a great seat. It's like yeah, front I row. I bet. Okay, so that's um, so these reservations are they numbered tickets or is it just first come first serve on Saturday? It'll be first come first serve. On okay, Saturday. so so maybe get there a little bit early for the yeah. performance to get a, a really good, a good seat, idea, sure. even though every seat is a good seat. Well, ladies, thank you so much for for coming here today to tell us thank about you. Aesop and the dinosaur and and this exciting event. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. We'll see you at the show. Okay. <laughs> Well, you're not going to want to miss this exciting show that the Lake Wales Arts Council is putting on, Aesop's Dinosaur Fable, um, in conjunction with Bits and Pieces Puppet Theater. It's taking place, the actual show is on Saturday, May 11th. Um, there's a performance at 10 a.m. and another one at 1 p.m. And that's going to be at um, the First Baptist Church in Lake Wales. But you also want to make sure, mark your calendars for the pre-show event on Friday, May 10th. That's happening from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Polk State Lake Wales Art Center. So there's going to be um, lots of fun activities and events for the whole family. Um, everything is free. You should try to get your tickets or reservations beforehand, but that's not necessary. You can still show up that day. Uh, for Friday, there's no tickets necessary, so everybody can just show up and have a great time. Um, for more information on um, on all of the everything that's going on that weekend, you can call 863-676-8426, or you can go online to lakewalesartscouncil.org.